Hey guys, it is Saturday the 19th of August and I am on my way to do the state car cross at Awaba. Now, I'm not racing this car on the dirt. I am racing my Rodeo, but I don't have the Rodeo, so we've got to go and get it. Uh, I've got my gear bag in the back there. And um, yeah, so I ought to go over, pick up the Rodeo. It's been off getting prepped and ready for today. Um, and then yeah, head over there, get that, go do the racing. So I'll put a get, bit of a, a video together for it and uh, hopefully you enjoy. See you at the next spot. Alrighty, we've arrived. Hey mate, what's going on? Yeah? Hey Batman. Oh, he's still scared of me. There's the road uh, down there. Right, yeah, so here it is. So Chris has done what they call a PCV valve mod. Uh, very common on these alloy techs. Basically, it used to have vents and whatnot here and there's a PCV valve in there. Look, I'm not a mechanic, I don't quite understand it, but what I do understand is that this will hopefully give the motor some more longevity. So it all goes to a catch can um, and he's got all the, the gauges and everything working properly on the dash now as well. All my, uh, all of this is all working how it should be now. Actually, maybe not the trans. Trans doesn't look like it's working, but I don't know. We'll get to that. But yeah, so shout out to my buddy Chris. He uh, sorted all this out for me. Say hi, Chris. How you going, guys? So yeah. Um, oh, and he wired up these lights too. So these these lights work now, which will be great because this is a day and night event. So hopefully, be able to see where I'm going a bit better. Just playing the game of musical cars. Had to move the van to get this out. Then we chucked the laser back down in the yard, so it's locked up and safe because uh, Chris lives in the ghetto. Uh, Chris is bringing down his car, this is a support vehicle. Like all good support vehicles, he's repping. If anybody wants one of them, hit me in the DMs via whatever social media you're watching this on, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, I'll get you sorted out. It's the worst part about motorsports. I think parts are expensive, drop and fuel in the car. We're at Freeman's Waterhole, the old oak bar across the road there. Just filled up, a quick feed, and then onto the racetrack. Well, we have arrived. We're not the first ones here. Russell's already here, he's always here early. And uh, a few other competitors, some starting to roll in. Chris's support rig. And we'll go over and, I uh, don't know what time they're gonna start scrutineering, but we'll get this through scrutineering and um, Get a banner up on this fence right here and yeah, I'll check in with this throughout the day. All right, I've just been through scrutineering. I'm just reversing, well, about to reverse back into my pit. So in the Rodeo, you can see there's no roll cage or anything fun like that. Uh, there is a baby seat though. And just make sure I get in here without hitting anything. But yeah, no issues at scrutineering. Got through with flying colours as it should. And um, yeah, now to sit around and wait till to do the recce run. Well, we're racing. I've done my first run and there was a photographer on a jump. And right after the jump is a corner. I opted to make for a good photo and send it as hard as I could over the jump. I didn't quite make the corner though. <laughs> no damage that I know of, I don't know, I haven't been out of the car, I should probably check that. But uh, on one of my runs, I ran out of talent. Let's see how well you can see that. Not sure how well you can see it, but uh, ran out of talent, clipped the water barrier in the front, it's come around and oof, into the back of the car. So we're just gonna send it. Should be right. I'll have it fixed through the week. Alrighty, we've got the we're, well, the lights are on. We're waiting for the uh, second half of the day 
which is the nighttime racing. I've had a little whoopsie on the back here. But other than that, um, I incurred a five second penalty for that. So five seconds and whatever it costs to fix. But anyway, we, um, we'll get that sorted. I've got some new lighting to play with. Um, it'll do this, uh, that one, and that one. So yeah, hopefully that's enough lighting for the front. Headlights are only on parkers, so obviously once they're on high beam, it'll be a bit better. But yeah, I'll keep you updated with what's going on in the nighttime racing. Rightio, the event is over. Everyone's packing up and going home, including us. So uh, first stop will be Freeman's Waterhole to out the tyres and then push on back to Chris's house because that's where I'll be keeping my car. So did have a little bit of a whoopsie today. But it is what it is. Right, uh, first stop. Put some air in the tyres and this. Across the road from the old oak bar across there. Awkward moment when you've got that much mud and stuff in your wheel that you've got to actually clean it out before you uh, can do air in the tyre. Have you found the valve? Yeah, she, she, she is. <laughs> I was wondering why I'm driving up the road and it's going wobble, 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 wobble. <laughs> yeah, a bit of stuff in that. Alrighty, drop the car off. Can't find the hole. And uh, pick the laser up. Home time.